fighting out of the blue corner train out of the Thai boxing pit. Official weight 61.6 kilograms. He is two time, two time WKN Perth champion. 24 fights, 20 wins, seven coming by knockout. Representing Western Australia, ladies and gentlemen, Roy the Red Bull Wills. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the rake on a train, out of the super fight gym. Official weight, 61.2 kilograms. He is the WBC Australian champion. 40 fights, 30 wins, 10 coming by knockout. Representing St. Kilda, Melbourne, Fearless, Joel Fisher! Here we go, gents. Our semi-main event proudly brought to you by StingSports.com. Boy, am I looking Quite forward fair. to this fearless Joel Fisher. Questions? 40 fights for 30 That's wins. Trained by Don Miller at a super fight gym. Taking on the young gun Roy Wills. 24 fights for 20 wins. Trained by Blair Smith out of the tyre boxing. Boxing pit. Two of the best gyms in Australia, I reckon, tear the way where they're going at the moment. They've been very busy this year. Yeah, I, I mean, Joel was one of those fighters where he was like, um, he was the uh, up and comer and took on a lot of more experienced guys and won. But I must be honest with you, I think Roy's going to get, he's going to become that person today. I really think that Roy's had a very busy year. He's got very, very good technique. And uh, you might see Roy sort of uh, pull up an upset here, but I'll tell you what. Joel is very, very tricky, and he's very, very good. He, he, you know, he knows how to make people miss and, and screw up their own game, you know? So, but yeah, no, this will be a cracker. This will be an excellent fight. I'm really looking forward how to it. How old's Roy Wills? 19, 19 years of age. He's had Fighter of the Night twice on Rebellion over here. We saw him against Brian Hayes and Sonny Vanathy. He couldn't walk for about a week and a half after okay, fighting boys, against Sonny Vanathy, but uh, we know he's a tough kid. And the boys from the pit never quit. We know that, but... Joel Fearless Fisher, one of my favourite fighters going around as well. Yeah, Joel. we commentated many a fight in the, at Brute Force with Joel Fisher. Joel yeah. fighting out of Southpaw with the white trunks. Give big thanks to Sting Sports getting behind this one. All fighters wearing Sting Sports equipment tonight. Yeah, yeah, I think Joel's got that in incredible timing, and he's always had that, you know. I mean, actually, when Joel walked into my gym, you know, he didn't look like he was ever going to make a fighter, really, you know. Like, he didn't. He'd already been training about a year. He walked in, and he really didn't look like he'd done that much training. Strong, boy, strong, strong, but he, strong, he was a sponge, you know. He picked it up so quickly. And, uh, you know, he lived with us at the gym for about two or three years, and he just got better and better and better. Just when I thought Joel wouldn't get any better, he keeps getting better, you know. So... He's got that sharpness, but I mean, for such a long time in Thailand, you know, he's got that pure Thai technique. Yeah, I think he's, uh, he's very comfortable out there, you know. And just expression was in centering, just doesn't show any emotion, doesn't show any, uh, you know, signs of cardio problems or anything. He's just Considering he's only had a two-week preparation, he's looking pretty good here in the first round. Yeah, you know, he's really, he's really quite comfortable there, isn't he? You know? He was talking to Blair a couple of weeks ago and uh, he was having a chat about this fight. And he said, you know, he's seen Joel fight over in Perth. He knows what he's like. So, you know, he was happy with the matchup. And he, we know that the boys from the pit, you know, their motto is they'll never quit. But they always put put up a good battle and uh, they're great technicians as well. And Blair works them hard. Brett Crane White and Clint Housen over in the corner with Blair Smith. I reckon Blair must have lost his voice. Very quiet, can't hear him at the moment. Yeah, very much uh, subdued uh, Blair Smith here. His first round. The left rib cage of uh, Roy Wills, Red Raw. Yeah, Joel actually has power for uh, for a small guy. You know, he's not. Uh, he's not. There's a, there's a lot of a lot of force behind those kicks. He's not showing uh, any signs. Oh, really yeah, no, 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 he's a very clever Joel. A great first round from both boys. Five three minute rounds proudly brought to you by Stingsports.com. Let's go. Round two. Round two. Jump. Well, it's the round second day. Uh, round two proudly brought to you by Stingsports.com. Joel Fisher. White trunks. Roy Wolves with the black trunks. Blair's really starting to step up uh, the volume over there in the blue corner. Yeah, well, he had a very quiet first round. Oh, nice elbow there from 
Look like it from Roy Wills. And great uh, evasion skills by Roy, followed up with a beautiful round kick. It's a hard fight to commentate for me there because I just want to watch it. It's very difficult to actually say anything. Beautiful technique on both of them though. It's one thing Roy does really well though, Tao. He checks really well. Yeah, he does. He does. And now he's starting to bring on the pace. He's like, all right, well, I'll come, come forward, see what I can get. So, and this is where it all, this is where Joel will suffer if his fitness is not up there because, you know, that's what I mean. If he can play that game, picking him off like, uh, like he wants to, then he'll be fine for the five rounds. But if Roy keeps coming forward. That's good work by Joel. And that's what I mean. See, Joel can pick him off on the way in. And this is the kind of thing that Alex should have been doing in the last fight. As the person walks in, pick him off. Joel's very, very good at that. He's very good at shutting the, shutting the door on him. Yeah, both these boys have fought Sonny Vanathy. Roy Wills uh, recently fought Sonny Vanathy. Joel fought him in about his sixth fight, I think it yeah, was. Yeah, his sixth fight. He fought uh, Sonny Vanathy and beat him, yeah. That was uh, sort of the defining moment for him. He fought a uh, flip before it, actually. Phil Street, just before he fought uh, Sonny Vanathy, and he beat him both, and he, that's how he put himself on the map. Well, they're two credible scalps to have on uh, your resume. Absolutely. I mean, you know, Sonny Vanathy. I mean, Joel's been fighting like that since he had five fights. He really has, he, he, he just absorbed Thai boxing so, so easily, you know. That's, uh, Johnny Kev, as you say, it's not a bad, couple of bad names to have on your resume. At fight six, he'd had Flip Street and Sonny Vanetti on his resume. You know, a lot of fighters in his weight division won't have that ever on their records. Yeah, absolutely. Just uh, wouldn't uh, have the kahunas to step up and take over those guys. Of yeah, that's it. it. And of course he fought Superboy as well recently. I think that was probably his last fight in Melbourne against Superboy on a power play promotion. That seemed like a very short second round. It did seem like a very short round. I here we go, round three, proudly brought to you by Stingsports.com, your semi-main event, Rebellion 4. Coming to you live from the Powerhouse Function Centre here at Elba Park. You tell you've got to give it to Sainaji with his promotions. Yeah, he doesn't, I don't think we've ever seen a fight that's been mismatched. No, absolutely. Uh, I mean, actually, I think there was a, this was a, the first Rebellion show from the, real, the Rebellion shows that we've seen knockouts on. I don't think on the first three Rebellions there have been any knockouts. Pretty much all gone very to evenly matched fights. Yeah, well spotted, Tao. They've pretty much always gone the All go the distance, don't they? Yeah, Joel Fisher just working those uh, left kicks a treat. Roy wearing them on the forearms. In this fight, both fighters been very busy. Yeah, keen, keen to well. grapple as well. Nice elbow up the middle there from Roy. I think we're all just sitting back enjoying this one. There's not a lot you can say about this one. It's, you know, two great technicians there in the centre ring. Down one elbow there from Roy Wills. Yeah, Roy Wills now. And yeah, the sign of a good fight. The referee's not having to do a lot as well. Yeah, absolutely. And Roy really trying to put the lights out on uh, Joel Fisher. Scored a nice couple punch combo. That's shaping up to be a great fight. Judges for this one again, Darren Bauer, Dave Fox, Kane Doherty. It's nice for the Victorians for once to actually get a, a get a good look at what Muay Thai is all about. Getting to see all the weapons flying, you know. 
That's another credit to Sai putting on real Muay Thai shows, you know. No kickboxing, no MMA. No modified kickboxing or modified Muay Thai. Yeah, we've had a good uh, display this evening of how devastating the eight weapons, particularly the elbows of Muay Thai, can be. Very tidy in the grapple, Joel. It really scores well. You know, both boys, tell when they are in the grapple, they, they, they know... Catch, Bushy. <laughs> they know exactly uh, what they're doing in the grapple. It's, it's not messy. That's right, yeah. They're trying to just smother each other and things. So, you know, they they've actually they make some room to put their shots in. Joel breathing through the mouth a little bit more, just starting to suck it in a bit, but I'll tell you what, he's racking up the points. Nice round for Joel there. I think uh, slowly starting to change my mind on this one. I think Joel's going to pull this one. Here you go, this. Fourth round proudly brought you by Stingsports.com, your semi-main event at Rebellion number four. Yeah, but once again at the powerhouse... Uh, Simpson Centre here, great venue, absolutely everybody has a fantastic view of uh, the action in Centre Ring. So Joel knows he's playing, no, Joel knows he's going to come out aggressive now and he's playing that counter game and he's playing it perfectly. He's waiting for Roy to come in with his shot, he's making him miss and making him pay. Yeah, we've always known Tao how smart a fighter Joel Fisher is and it's uh, great to see him back in Centre Ring. Let's hope we get to see a lot more of him in uh, 2013. Absolutely. I mean, look, with only two and a half years off, he doesn't look like he had a break at all, does he? You were saying before, John, that, yeah, he really is, uh, really is still sharp, huh? Yep. The, the speed at which he just rattles off those round kicks. Good knee there from Roy Will just come on, Very close. coming outside the, the grapple. Good. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Work. Chop. Strong, 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 strong. Step up me there from Joel. <laughs> even, even Elias in centre rings enjoying this. He had a big smile on his face. Nice little jab from Joel. Come on. Look at that. Just happy to back himself up against the ropes. Here comes that elbow. Oh, <laughs> well... Well called, Cam. Joel's getting that confidence up now. Got his hands down a little bit. He's playing, isn't he? Really just, he is just playing the fourth round a little bit. One minute remaining in his fourth round. Go, 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 go. Good use of the teeth by Joel. The first front kick was seen him throw. Yeah, it hasn't been thrown a lot tonight, Johnny Kep. He's just thrown three in about the last uh, ten seconds. Let's go! Good evasive work from Joel. Roy's just not looking himself tonight, mate. Full credit to Joel Fisher. He's taken away a lot of what we're used to seeing from Roy Wills. Yeah, well, I think it's Joel that's actually made Roy look a bit flat. Yeah, as I mean, it's, it's very hard to play your game when someone's a very, very good counterfighter because it's very hard to come in because you know you know what they're doing. You know, I mean, Joel is just picking his shots and he's picking his timing. But, you know, Roy will learn heaps from this as well, you know. Well, we know Roy Wills now. We've seen him at Rebellion 2 and 3, and uh, Joel's making him look a little bit ordinary here, particularly in the fourth round. I don't think he's making him look ordinary. I think Roy looks awesome. I actually we think we're actually getting witness to an awesome fight. I think that uh, it's still a great fight. I just think Joel's ahead. Four down, one to go. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Here we go, fifth and final round, proudly brought to you by Sting Sports Semi Main Event Rebellion Muay Thai number four, Joel Fisher. Taking Taking on Roy to Wills. Another couple of rounds after this. I'm, I don't really want this to be over just yet. You're really enjoying this bout, Tao. I really am. It's just nice to see Joel back in the ring again, you know, like, you know, he was a 17-year-old kid when he showed up at our gym, and uh, it's really nice to see what he's become over that time. Let's go, Chuck. I think Roy realises too, Tao, he's probably really got to dominate this eighth, uh, sorry, this fifth round to... 
to get it back. Uh, roy has got good tenacity, you know, and he is coming forward, and he's looking for that way in, you know. I mean, win, lose, or draw this fight, Roy's going to go away. He's going to learn a lot from this fight. He's going to, and you know, you know he'll come back a lot better. He'll have learned a, a, a wealth of stuff in this fight. So, you know, Roy very, he, he definitely impresses me. I think Roy's going to be the, you know, the next big 60 kilo fighter in Australia. I mean, you know, he's got a little way to go yet, but I think he's the number one contender for it. Well, he's got everything, Tao. He's got the technique, he's, he's got the cardio, he's got the chin. Yeah, absolutely. And he's got age on his side. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, look, you can't win all of your fights, you know. Yeah, sometimes you will have a bad night where you can't put it all together. But, I mean, you know, yeah, no, he really, it really impresses me. And he, like, it's these hard fights and these tough wars that you have where it's a real strategic battle. It's a real game of chess. That's where you'll take that back to the gym and learn, you know, and Roy will come out next three fights. He'll probably get even better and better and better from this. So, you know, he has to maybe maybe invest in loss sometimes to get that gain. And Joel Fisher is really enjoying himself in centering there. He's, uh, he's almost got a smile on his face. He, ha he, he had a smile on his face there, Johnny Cap. He was tricking it up a little bit. But he's just smart. Just the way he got out of that corner there, just effortless. Yeah, we'll see many fighters this evening get back into the corner, but uh, none of them have worked their way out as quickly or as smoothly as Joel Fisher just did. And great to see uh, Paris, Paris Pascali from Fight Sports, Paris Productions. Finally decided to turn up for the night and earn some money getting behind the camera. I think you can always tell by what's going on in the corner and Blair Smith just sitting there with his, uh, just looking very quiet, very, very composed in the corner there. A little bit pensive, uh, Blair Smith's not really shouting a lot of instructions now to Roy well, it's, it's done now, you know, it really is done now, but I mean, I don't think that Roy should hang his head at all. I think he's done a very, very good job in there and he's made a great fight. And what they, you know, fighters know that... This is entertainment at the same time, you know, like all of these people have paid a lot of money to come to their tickets. These guys have actually put on, you know, a, a, a brilliant Muay Thai performance. So people are really getting their money's worth. And I don't think that, uh, I don't think Roy should feel, it, it, hang his head at all, you know. So it's been a war, it's been a great fight. Yeah, absolutely sensational semi-main event. Full credit to Sai Naji, full credit to Roy Wills and Joel Fisher. Big thanks to Sting Sports. This one will go to the judges, but I think we all see it going away of Joel Fisher. Ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's semi-main event, after five rounds of full tie rules, we have gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous points decision. Your winner, Red Corner, Phyllis. Well, there you go, Johnny. Joel Fisher. No great surprises there. A fantastic result. Comeback fight for Phyllis Joel Fisher.